Lee, most recently completing 15 of 19 passes for 228 yards to lead the Cajuns' domination of FIU last Saturday at Cajun Field. Stepping up to the podium, sophomore quarterback Terrence Orsley. Right here, you might have Terrence. Terrence, will you approach this week any differently knowing that you're going to be taking the first snaps? The only different thing I'll be doing this week is take more of Lawrence reps. I mean, for us film and studying, I won't. Terrence, when you came in and, and, and you seen that uh, Blaine went down, was there uh, when you when you when you started running running their offense, did they pretty much stick to the script of what they were planning on doing at that point, or, or did they or did they change up for what you guys were doing and maybe maybe do do a few other things that that you have been working with in practice? Oh, no, the coaches didn't change up anything. We, we stuck to the, we stuck to the same game plan and everything just kept on flowing the fast tempo. Uh, Terrence, uh, anytime if somebody on your team gets injured, it's tough. You don't want to see that happen. But, man, this probably is uh, pretty exciting for you to be able to now take the reins, be the number one, and, and get out there and get some playing time, man. I mean, it is exciting because my actually my first start at Houston was against Tulane. So, I mean, I get another shot at it. We won that game against Tulane last year. So, get another crack at it to start us with a fresh start. No doubt. I know you came in for Case and all those things back in Houston. How much did that help uh, in, in you know being prepared for this you know time when Blaine went down? Uh, this time I was actually prepared because when I stepped in for Case, I was very certain at the time. I really wasn't watching too much, too much film at the time. I was just traveling with the team. But now I was ready. Uh, I watched film every day. So this time I'm more prepared. Being homecoming, uh, is there any? What do you? What changes for you guys with regards to homecoming schedules? Anything change for you, or coach keeps you on a pretty straight? No, we still on the same schedule. We off today for us. We watch film on our own, get extra work out here. We'll be back at it tomorrow. We had practice last night. Um, any? Not only that, uh, knowing that you're going to be the starter for the next few weeks, does that uh, kind of like help your playing? Know that like you can't be replaced on the field. The thing it does for me is to, to make me be smart just as far as getting down, knowing that you know, we have Brady behind me, but behind Brady is just another freshman that's going to be red shirt, and I don't think we want to strip a red shirt. So as far as me being smart, I'm just going to have to get down this week. Terrence, playbook-wise, has everything been in for you to this point, or, or what can you add kind of in the game as you <coughs> progress here? I don't expect the coaches to, um, to strip anything from the playbook because I've been the system for over a year and a half now. For I sitting out last year, I think Coach Johnson and all the other coaches did a great job of getting me started in the offense. And I think that was the main reason why that we didn't really fight for appeal for the um, Marshall, just to get me into the system and get me comfortable with what I was need to, needed to do this year. Tulane's taking some lumps this year. Any, any, there, there's not a chance you guys overlook this team. Not a chance. We uh, this week is the, the most important week that um, in your history. Like Coach Hill told us yesterday, I mean we take we take all our games week by week, day by day, and we're not looking past Tulane because we know that they're going to be ready to go and come in and try to uh, spoil our homecoming. Terrence, when, from the time you got here, when did you kind of start? Where you were comfortable with the offense? I'm sure the first spring and all you you were just your head was floating with all this music. When did you did that happen? Just August or when did you kind of get comfortable where you knew you were ready to do what you did Saturday? Probably after our first scrimmage uh, this spring that just passed. Uh, my first really live. I was live that scrimmage. Coaches wanted to see what I could do live since I hadn't been a part of any live action in over a year. So I think it was that scrimmage that that I really felt comfortable in the system and felt that I knew what I was doing. From this point forward, how much communication with Blaine in terms of breaking down film and things like that? What, what do you think you can learn from him most, even with him not on the field? I think Blaine is going to be there um, probably all the game. So, I mean, I know he's going to help me about our team and the best way he can do it. I, I don't know if he's going to be on the sideline or in the press box, but I know he'll be there to help. Any other questions from Terrence? Uh, any, any extra added pressure at all now that you are the guy? Uh, is 
that come along with it, or are you just going to keep doing what you're doing and keep your head you know, down and playing ball? Uh, no added pressure when, when you got you got five guys in front of you that that that, that believes in you and seven other guys around you that believe in you. you know, I mean, our offensive line, it's great to hear that the offensive line want a tempo. So, I mean, if your offensive line want a tempo, you know, move fast. I think that's better for us and our receivers. So, I mean, there's no, there's no added pressure when we have five guys that believe in you and receivers and running back that believe in you.